Hello, welcome to my project. My name is Alyssa, and I recently moved from the west coast of the U.S. to Georgia to study parasites. I'm interested in how the intimate relationship between parasites and their hosts might unlock the mysteries around how marine communities will react to a changing environment. One of the fascinating things about marine parasites is that many of them spend part of their life swimming in the ocean with the animals they will one day infect. In this way, parasites are exposed to changes in the environment just like their future hosts. If the environment changes in a way favoring parasite survival, you might see an increase in parasite infection. I'm studying an invasive barnacle parasite of a mud crab that lives in the oyster reefs on the east coast of the United States. In the juvenile stages of the barnacle parasite, the young parasites are in the ocean searching for a mud crab to infect. Once inside the host, they take over, fully castrating the host and using it as a baby parasite producing machine. To blow your mind a bit more, if the parasite lands on a male crab, no problem. The parasite will turn that male crab into a female and off it goes to produce more babies. To do this, the parasite makes an external pouch on its host called an externa in the exact place that a crab would normally keep its babies. Instead of being temporary, this parasite's baby pouch is a permanent fixture. The pouches disrupt the crab's ability to walk so much that I can actually spot an infected crab from how it's moving. If the parasite makes it so I can see and catch it easier with my clunky, unspecialized body parts, then the crab's predators are most likely taking advantage. Does constantly being pregnant with their parasite's babies make them more likely to be eaten by crab predators? If so, could the predators actually be protecting the crab from its parasites? In Georgia, there have been a lot of droughts lately, leading to saltier estuaries. My parasite and other marine parasites can't survive in fresh water or even low salinity water, which is salty water that has been watered down. Its host, the mud crab, is fine in low salinity water, even surviving for a while in fresh water. Changing salinity may fundamentally change how this parasite host system functions within the estuary, potentially increasing the impact of this invasive parasite. We don't know what effect these environmental changes will have on this host parasite relationship. That is why I'm asking you for help. I need some funds to help me purchase field supplies, like a waterproof camera to record my observations, and a machine that can measure salinity when I'm out in the field. In return for your support, I will provide you with treats from my Field Fun Pack, including videos of crab behavior set to music, fun photos from the field, and your very own oyster shell soap holder. Thank you for taking the time to learn about my work.